This was my first attempt at doing a nose wheelie front flip. Um, as you can see, I landed directly on my head. So, um, anyway. Hey guys, Travis Pastrana here, and this is Camera Roll Roulette. Record, I don't really know I want you guys in on this, but let's see. What the heck? All right, looks like we have, uh, we have our athlete team manager trying to skateboard. Um, I think he used to be able to skate. They didn't let scooters in this particular one, and we were doing a press day with our Willie, and uh, I didn't bring my bicycle, and he used to be skate uh, team manager. Now he is a Nitro Circus uh, rider athlete manager, and he's like, I got this, guys. Let me get the shot. So he dropped in. It's going good. And I didn't see the rock that he hit, but evidently he must have ran out of talent, I guess. Sorry, Ricky. Better luck next time, man. All right, here we go. All right, well, what do we got here? We got, <laughs> all right, we got Trevor Piranha right here, and he built a car, obviously at El Camino. Uh, it's a truck, really, it's a car truck. And um, we were gonna do Dukes of Hazard theme, uh, but it turns out five other Lemons athletes, drivers, whatever, car crashers, demolition derby experts, uh, already had the number 01 with the Dukes of Hazard theme. So we put a 0199 on the car, and uh, yeah, it was good. We changed out the flag on top for, uh, to, you know, just America, obviously. Well, here we go. It looks like I'm actually doing a whip, which is pretty cool. So that takeoff is 23 foot tall. And then I'm about, I don't know, probably 40 feet above that. So the landing's 35 foot tall. So you're looking at, you know, it's pretty doggone high. So this was in the middle of a double backflip 360. And we put the, the bag jump at the bottom in case it came up short. But uh, yeah, this was the setup that we had. It's pretty cool. So the landing right there is actually, um, Basically a two foot bag, the white area on top of uh, wood, and then just put some grass over the top of the resi, so it's hard plastic, and then um, fake grass. So it was basically jerry-rigged like everything else we do at my house. Pretty good. Stop, all right, here we go. All right, this is my uh, daughter, Addie. Um, this is her first time in an airplane, and she was really disappointed that she didn't get to wear the parachute. Well, she wore the parachute, and then she landed and she was so bummed out that she didn't actually go skydiving. She was four. Um, but when they put the parachute on her, she just got so excited. Like it ruined their whole plane flight because all she was thinking was, when am I gonna fly out? Because the pilot was joking. Yeah, we're gonna flip upside down. If the plane crashes, we'll parachute down. Poor kid. This is the face when you ask your daughter how something's going and she's just about to cry, but she doesn't wanna like let you down because you know, you're kind of excited and she had to do her first like airplane flips and acrobatics and then bam, I didn't get to use the parachute they put on me and I'm devastated and I have to be 18. I can't even hardly count to 18. That seems like forever. So yeah, that was it. Here we go. Uh, this was uh, Motocross of Nations. Ronnie Mack came to me with this great idea that um, a bunch of old washed up guys were gonna race the biggest race ever held in American motocross. And we're gonna do it for good cause and charity. And it was actually gave me an excuse to skip out of the events that I was doing and actually attend the Motocross Nations, which was awesome. And we had to do a Sipes, who's the only American to win ISDE, and he won flat track and all this stuff. And Ronnie Mack, he's a pretty funny guy, uh, but the motocross industry didn't really know what to think about Ronnie Mack racing for Puerto Rico for the biggest motocross event ever held in the US. And they, they banned Mack from racing. So that was right after this. And then we found Kevin Windham. And Kevin Windham replaced Mac and needed the plus 30 class. And we qualified for the AMA. And now we're going down to Puerto Rico to uh, donate all the money we made back down to uh, help the Hurricane Relief Fund. Perfect. All right, this is our favorite donut place. And um, yeah, the kids wanted to uh, take pictures with the unicorns. I don't know. It's got to be a good one. No, you can't take pictures with kids. They just they don't smile. It was their idea, though. I don't know. Well, you can tell it was, it was the youngest one's idea. So she was pumped. Oldest one, not so much. All right, here we go. So, well, yeah, that's probably not as good there. This was my first attempt at doing a nose wheelie front flip. Um, as you can see, I landed directly on my head. So, um, anyway, not really my gig, not my game, right? Uh, nose manual's okay, nose manual front flips, not so good. Smagical got it though later in the day, so that was good. Um, luckily, it was a two foot bag, so I only had a compression fracture. 
I'm Travis Pastrana. Thank you for playing Camera Roll Roulette. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's, I don't know, they put it, it's, it's definitely there. Hit it. Record, I don't really know I want you guys in on this, but.